Telecom Regulatory Authority of India, they say that you can give free only for 90 days, 3 months. So October, November, December 2016, it is over. Again, as a new year offer, Reliance Geo introduced again a free offer, another 3 months. That free means government will lose money because when the, when the private operators, they are working, they are selling their product means they have to pay the license fees to the government and whatever the revenue they get, they have to share with the government. When it is free means government will not get. So it is against the law. Then Troy, one devotee secretary, Mr. J.S. Deepak Misra, wrote to Troy chairman stating that it is complete violation what Reliance Jio is doing. So we have to take action, otherwise government will lose money also. That file went and the file came back. For, uh, you, you will not believe that the, the J.S. Deepak Misra, the devotee secretary who wrote the letter was transferred. So the huddle was removed, another secretary was appointed, then naturally they gave another three months free. In, in terms of, we can say, it's called a predatory pricing. You know, I, I can tell you an example, this pen is 10 rupees. If I sell it for 5 rupees, it is called predatory pricing. It is the predatory pricing will kill the opponents. So in the world itself, people will not accept predatory pricing. But in India, Reliance Geo did predatory pricing, not only predatory pricing, they did no cost pricing also. So naturally, as a human psychology, when it is free, people will go for it. So they grabbed the subscribers from th in the country. They get more. And number two, they got an adv advantages from the government also. Number two, they asked, they approached the government. They said, Reliance Geo told the Prime Minister office that they have to reduce the inter-usage charges. That inter-usage charges means if uh, any network, I am working, in, I am using BSNL network, you are using Reliance Geo, you are calling me, then you, Reliance Geo has to pay 14 paisa per minute to BSNL. This is inter-usage charges. It's a vice versa also. But Reliance Geo entered late, so their subscriber base is less. So they have to pay more IUC charges. So they went to government, you reduce it. Yartel earlier went, government did not agree. Vodafone earlier went, government did not agree, but Reliance Geo went, now the government agreed to that. They have reduced from 14 paisa to 6 paisa per minute. At a stroke, government lost 5,000 crores. At a stroke, Reliance Geo got the total benefit. So that is why Reliance Geo could grab the subscribers throughout the country. In the March 2019, this Reliance Geo, they have added 1 crore subscriber in one month and 76 cro uh, 76 lakhs of connections from Vodafone, 26 lakhs of connections from Yartel and in this situation BSNL gave 3.5 lakh, uh, lakhs connection as a positive one, number one. Number two, why BSNL is suffering? The suffering is due to the non-expansion and especially the government did not allot 4G spectrum to the BSNL. Three companies they are having 4G spectrum. In the competition means there will be equal footing. Everybody says that in the privatization, if you say equal footing should be there, where is the question of equal footing for BSNL? BSNL still now we have not been allotted 4G spectrum at all. Reliance Geo is having, Airtel is having, Vodafone is having. They are giving the services to the public, but we cannot give the service to the public. As a union, we have demanded this for, uh, allotment of 4G spectrum to BSNL. We have demanded with the government. We went on strike for three times. Every time the telecom minister will give assurance that 4G spectrum will be allotted to you. They have not allotted. On February 2018, they assured us it will be given within a month's time, 4G spectrum. They did not give. Again, we, we gave a strike notice on December 3rd, indefinite strike throughout the country from Jammu Kashmir to Kanyakumari, we gave a call. Minister invited us. All the official, office, top most bureaucrats were there. In front of them, they gave it in writing that they will give 4G spectrum to BSNL. And in the parliament, they will say that they will give. If anybody raises a question, they will say that, yes, we, will, we are going to give 4G spectrum to BSNL. But still, we are lacking behind. So non-allotment of 4G spectrum, is, uh, we, uh, we, could, we could not expand our business. And one more pathetic condition, the government is crippling us. Number one, Reliance Geo 
they have invested 150000 crore rupees out of which they got bank loan 1.25 lakh crores that's it. from the nationalist bank they got loan so only 25000 crores they have invested they have started the business today i am talking about 2016 1.5 lakh crore today uh, reliance jio's debt is 2 lakh crores and what about vodafone 1 lakh 20000 crores airtel 1 lakh 13000 crores these huge debts are there from the nationalized banks if they they did not pay means bank will go bankrupt bad debts will increase for a, but bsnl is having a only a loan of 10000 crores so for the expansion of bsnl we ask the government you give bank loan to us also for that we need a letter of comfort that government has to give it to us 20000 crores or 30000 crores as a bank loan we would like to get but government did not give letter of comfort to us at all our our asset bsnl asset as per the market value it is 4 lakh crores it is our asset in our corporate office we have got a building our own building they have assessed is the one building cost about 2500 crores so we got an asset and we got a vacant land also so we asked the bsnl management asked the government we have got a vacant lands are there we can monetize it you please permit us they have asked they wrote a letter in 2018 after the board decision and their our assessment is 1 lakh crore worth of vacant land is there we it went to government government uh, returned the file they say that the land is not in the name of bsnl it is in the name of department of telecom so we are deprived of every 